My name is Mike Ryan. I work at uh, Sable Kitchen and Bar, and uh, it's in Chicago, Illinois. I've been bartending for five or six years. Um, initially went to culinary school and uh, spent a long time cooking and just kind of gradually transitioned into, uh, into the bar world. So cocktail development for me stems a lot from my culinary background. Um, Generally, I'll have, a, I'll have a flavor in mind, or I'll have a flavor combination in mind, and just kind of say, like, okay, I want to work these two things together. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll taste a new spirit, and I'll say, wow, this is amazing, I've got to make a drink with this. Um, sometimes a drink just pops into my head, fully formed, I'm like, yes, this is, this is the whole recipe, make it the first time and it works. Um, sometimes... I'll have a vague idea what of what I'm trying to do, and I'll chase something down for you know weeks or months, just tweaking the recipe a little bit here and there, and uh, um, just kind of you know eventually narrowing in on what it is I want to do. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the cocktails that, that I come up with um, stem from people's requests. Somebody will sit down at the bar and say, "Hey, I've got this this you know." Uh, I've got this craving for whatever it is, something smoky, something bitter, something um, you know, with ginger in it, something with cucumber in it, whatever it is. Uh, you know, just do something different for me. And trying to find a way to satisfy them, make them happy, and do so in a, in a somewhat unique way. Um, that's where a lot of our drinks come from. I, I go through phases, you know, like vermouth. I'll be really into vermouth for a while. Um, you know, get really into rums for a little bit. Uh, right now, um, you know, with spring coming in, uh, just whiskey seemed like it was calling to me. So um, the moment we have a whole bunch of new drinks on the menu that are all whiskey based, um, you know, ranging from like some nice light kind of refreshing stuff for spring to some bigger kind of burly things that uh, maybe are more reminiscent of winter, but um, still provide that kind of comforting home feeling. Uh, welcome, this is Stable Kitchen and Bar, and we're going to be discussing um, one of our cocktails we do here called Power of Love. Uh, it's kind of a mashup of a Manhattan and a whiskey sour, so uh, we'll get right into it. Um, freshly squeezed lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce. Um, sweet vermouth, and we use, uh, specifically we use Carpano for this, and the reason for that is it has this big kind of spice, lots of vanilla notes to it. Um, which will match up with the rest of the ingredients. So three quarters of an ounce of that. Uh, ginger syrup, three quarters of an ounce of that as well. Um, the ginger syrup we make in house, uh, it's fresh ginger that we press through an impact juicer, uh, like a macerating juicer, um, you know, like Jacqueline or Champion, whatever you have. Uh, we take the fresh juice, we combine it with sugar, just equal parts by volume. It's never cooked, so you have this really spicy, bright ginger flavor. Um, and then uh, bourbon, and for this one, we're using Buffalo Trace, which is it's another one of my favorites. It's, it's a just it's a great kind of go-to mixing whiskey, um, rye-based bourbon, lots of spice, lean, uh, but with enough enough richness that it's going to stand up in a cocktail. And then an egg white, uh, just separated from the yolk, as you see here, really easy. Uh, if you've done 300,000 of them. Um, and for anybody that might be nervous about egg whites out there, uh, just remember that A, people have been doing this for hundreds of years, and B, you're drinking it with two ounces of disinfectant. Um, so you should be okay. So we do a mime shake, or a dry shake. So just shaking without ice to uh, just kind of emulsify the egg white, um, get all the ingredients working together. Add our ice. And uh, if you're doing this at home, um, using ice out of your, uh, you know, if you just have ice that you're making uh, in ice cube molds, I recommend those um, as opposed to like compressed wedges that you get from maybe an ice maker. Uh, we use, the ice we use is called cold draft and it just forms really big, very solid, very dense cubes of ice. Um, so there's not very much air trapped in the ice. Coop glass. You'll notice as you're 
pouring that the froth from the egg white is going to start to separate a little bit. It's good, it's natural. Um, it's in fact, the uh, forms a pillow for our final ingredient slash garnish, which is uh, Angostura bitters. It's the classic bar bitters. There's a little bit of spice to it, um, very aromatic. And it's just going to give the cocktail a uh, pleasing visual appearance and a uh, nice exotic spicy aroma to finish it off. And that is the power of love. Weightlifting.